Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. It is Saturday. We have had the laziest day. Um, Bryant um, does not feel 100%. He's just tired. He's worked so hard this week and I think the allergies and he's just, just tired. And we had a big breakfast, big family breakfast this morning. We've skipped lunch. And so now it's time to think about supper. So I'm just gonna bring you guys with us. It is nothing fancy. It is nothing you need a recipe for. So there probably won't be a recipe in the, in the box. It's just, I'm bringing you along for our dinner tonight. We are just gonna have grilled out cheeseburgers. And so I've got, I've already thawed three pounds, because I'm not sure how many people's gonna be here, of our homegrown, home-raised ground beef. And um, so I'm just gonna let it sit out and let it come to room temperature, or not maybe quite room temperature, but at least let it warm up just a little bit, and then we'll season it up, and then I will make it into patty. So, um, We'll get that started in just a little bit. If you hear the noise outside, it's my washing machine because my back porch door is open. <laughs> okay guys, so let's get these burgers started. I've just been outside, my hair's a little wind blown, but um, the storms look like they're fixing to brew up. So we gotta get these burgers done. Now, you can season burgers with anything. Um, and I, I change it up. Sometimes I use the Lipton onion soup mix. Um, today we're gonna use my trusty Dusty with a little bit of garlic. So, um, I'm gonna go in with the garlic and I've washed my hands and so my hands are good and clean. And Judabug's over here peeping. Can y'all see Judabug? Say, hey Judabug. <laughs> All right, and so here we're going in with some ranch dressing. You can season with anything. The Weber steak and chop, I use it a lot. Um, like I said, Lipton onion soup mix is the bomb.com. I just don't happen to have any. And so I'm just going to mix this with my hands, get it all worked in together. Um, we're going to salt and pepper the outside. And I need to get Bryant going to check the um, grill in case he needs to move it inside. Um, I mean, not inside, but inside the carport. <laughs> um, it's looking kind of stormy out there. All right, so I'm going to take this first batch. Now, this was three pounds because I'm not sure how many people's going to be here tonight. Plus, Isaac is planning on starting keto again, so burgers is something he can take back to school, and it's a protein that he can have. Um, so, anyway. So, I've got two pieces of parchment paper here, and I'm just going to kind of mash this down, and I want to use this to... I mean, you can take a rolling pin to this. You can do whatever. I just want to mash it to where it's um, kind of the same thickness. I'm making burgers. Yeah, so we can have a cheeseburger. Yeah. So, all right, and I'm going to take, um, where'd it go? I think this is about the size of my bun. So, I'm going to use this as kind of like a, um, like a biscuit cutter almost. I started to say I hear thunder, but it was um, Isaac, Isaac dress, pulling up. Okay, so see how that is just a beautiful, beautiful burger. And I think Isaac it's a... Here. Is Isaac here? Yeah. I think it's about the size of my bun. So we're going to lay that there. And I'm going to keep cutting them out. I'm going to do the same thing to this 
hamburger over here. And we'll be back in just a little bit when we're ready to head to the grill. Okay guys, here they are with a little bitty one in the middle. But these are a good quarter pound burgers. Um, so yeah, they're gonna be delicious. So we're just gonna wait for Bryant to get ready to go grill them. And then I'll slice up the tomatoes and we'll get the lettuce ready and the onions. So I'll put everything on the table and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, we're out here with Papa grilling on the grill. Excuse our mess under the, under the carport. We're getting ready for this remodel. What, and I, what I like to do is I like to have the grill somewhere around 220 to 300 degrees before I even put the burgers on there. I like to hear them sizzle when I put them in there. Hold on. All right, guys, here we are again. We're going to take a quick break. Get the grill fired back up here. All right. Once again, I like to grill hot enough where it's sizzling when I put the burgers on there. What I'll do is I'll cook them about three minutes on one side. Depending on uh, how they're cooking up, about three minutes on one side and about three minutes on the other side. And then I will uh, do a, a little sample on them and see how much longer they need. Okay, with hamburger, we like ours well done because of E. coli. We don't like them medium rare or anything like that, just for food safety purposes. Even when we eat in a restaurant, we get it well done. Yep, so hang tight. We've got them on the grill. They're sizzling. Do you we'll... think those are about quarter pound burgers, some of them? A uh, quarter to a third. This one here is that a little one? larger. Yeah. 
this one here. This, this that was really for its first turn. Look at there. How, Look at that. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. Hang tight. We'll bring you back for the finished products. All right, guys. For about three minutes. Not quite three minutes. I try not to get them too overly done when I start flipping. Okay. Just a little brown. And uh, that grease flaring up is normal when you flip them because any grease that's pulled on top is now flipped over your Judas saying fire. <laughs> now, now he's a fire Now truck. he's a siren. All right, guys, looking good. What I'll do now is I'll shut that, bring that fire down just a little bit, and let them rest on there and just continue to cook. Cook while we have a fire engine over there. All right, guys, something I do that some men probably don't do or some women probably don't do, whenever the burgers get close to being done, I move them up to the top rack right here, okay, and I pull them down, and I put it on high, okay? Heat rises, okay, we're going to rise to the top of the grill. That way you make sure the outside is the way I want them. So now I can get them over some extreme heat, but yet not, uh, it'll discontinue the charring that's happening on the outside. And now it'll primarily cook the inside. Right now those burgers are probably somewhere about a medium rare and getting them on that top shelf and letting that heat get to them. Um, you'll see they'll continue to drip, continue to cook. It's gonna make for a perfect burger. So that's just a little tip that I do What about uh, about a minute or so, I'll pull them back down, put the cheese on them, let the cheese melt, and we'll bring you back for that too. Y'all, as we're cooking the burgers, look who has come to investigate what we are doing. They're like, oh no. Eat more yep. chicken. Eat more chicken. Yeah, they come to see what we were doing, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. These puppies are really close. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move them back down. Look at there, got that charred look to them. Mm -hmm. And I hate that hamburgers draw up. I don't know why they draw up, but they do. We've tried doing the indention in the middle. We've tried all of that, and yep. it still draws up, so we just you know leave it as it is. If you know anything about the Old Testament, they kind of look like a burnt sacrifice. But anyway. <laughs> you got that one a little burnt, didn't you? That's okay. This one looks really good. Put the cheese on there. The cheese covers a multitude of sin. It's yep. like love. Love. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Tina Turner, right? Yep. What's love? The second hand emotion. All right, guys. Here we go. You want to leave two of them to be burgers? That's whatever you, you want. Pull that down. Leave it rolling right there for just a second, Mom. All right. So pretty simple, guys. Three minutes on each side. Once you get that, move them up to the top rack. Leave them for a couple of minutes on one side on the top rack. Flip it on high heat on the top rack. And then flip them over, high heat again, and move them down, put your cheese on top. And uh, let's see how quickly, how good that cheese is melted. Let's look at it. Ready, Mom? I'm ready. Oh, yes. Yeah, look at there. Starting, starting to, to hug over, them burgers. Starting to fold over. So um, just a few more minutes right here. I'll show you the finished product in just a second. All right, guys. Bump that heat back up, and you can see. Look. When it begins to just fold right over the edges of the burger, it is done, okay? It's gonna continue to heat as we get them in the house. And that's how we like them. Now, a little restaurant we go to here in Siler City, they use Velveeta cheese. Oh, that's the best. Now, a good thick slice of Velveeta cheese Oh on my top goodness. It's really, really good as well. That okay? is the best. I didn't have Velveeta, I just had I think it's store brand sliced cheese. Store brand American sliced cheese. So that's it right there. We'll see you guys in the house in just a second as we dress the top of these wonderful Saturday afternoon burgers. Okay, y'all, here is our table. We're just ready. We're just gonna use regular buns, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onion, and of course our wonderful burgers and a bag of chips. So Caroline's gonna fix us some drinks and we'll get started to eat. Okay, guys, here's mine. A burger, lettuce, tomato, and onion. Bryant's done digging into his with some chips. Isaac's got his made. Caroline's helping Judah. And Jamie's coming. So we are having a wonderful family night, and we'll end it with banana split cake. Hey, guys. Well, last night, you know, we grilled out burgers and... 
um, and I mentioned that Bryant wasn't feeling 100%. So right now I'm sitting at um, our local urgent care. I brought him to be checked out this morning. Um, if you realize this is Sunday morning and he is not preaching and I am not singing. And that's a big deal because he never misses church. And so this is a this is a big deal for him to give in and say, I need to go to the doctor. Um, I'm afraid he's battling some vertigo um, and maybe a virus of some sort. So um, we're just going to wait and see. They've taken, usually like this is the urgent care and they'll do COVID testing in your car. Um, I don't think that's what's going to happen today. I, they've carried him in. And so I'm just sitting in the car waiting to see what's going on. And, but we had a great family night. I'm going to end this video here. Um, watch our next video for you to see how it ended <laughs> and um, the outcome. But I'm going to end this video here. And um, he's probably just worn out. He's so tired. He works so hard all the time. So be thankful for your hardworking um, people and family members in your life. Hardworking people are hard to come by. And um, I am married to probably the hardest working person I know. And um, and the Lord just told him it was time for him to rest a minute. So y'all stay tuned. Watch tomorrow's video. I'll let, give you an update then. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.